Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. This video will be very important for you because in this video I have invited Sonali Gupta who have recently got a job in the Power Bay domain as a fresher. And most importantly, she has got this job after 4.6 years of gap. Okay, that means around 5 years of gap she had and then as a fresher she finally got a job in this data analytics domain. So please do watch this video completely because you will learn a lot from her journey as many of you who will be watching this video would have career gaps and so you will definitely get motivated from her journey. So do watch this video completely. So let's start the video and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos plus you can also follow me on Instagram where you will find job related updates plus short videos on data analytics domain. Now let's start the video. Hi Sonali, how are you? I'm good. How are you sir? I'm also doing good. So I have all, uh, like already given your introduction to the audience. So uh, okay. let's start with the first question. So let's start with your educational background first. Like uh, like what was your last degree, highest degree basically. And uh, like when did you pass it? And uh, like tell me about all those things. And so that audience okay. get to know about you. Okay, uh, I have done my schooling from Gwalior itself and then uh, I have uh, completed my bachelor's of engineering from Gwalior in year 2018. After that, I'll prepare for the civil services examination, MPPSC and the UPSC. But uh, I didn't clear it. That's why I decided to move into the IT industry, basically in the analyst field. So, so I so, moved it. So for how many years you did the like UPSC preparation? Four years uh, for UPSC and for MPPSC as well. Okay, so you were preparing for UPSC for around four years, but you didn't succeed in that, right? Yes. So how will you? How were you mentally preparing yourself during those days? Because it is very difficult to basically uh, do the transition from uh, like uh, doing something yes. like UPSC to to the IT domain basically. So uh, how do you manage that? It is very difficult, but uh, for me, it's uh, high time I have to do some uh, thing that I have to take some uh, strong decisions that I have to be financially independent. So I decided to move into the IT industry field. And for those uh, for those years, I I was gained lot of knowledge about uh, I learned patient how to be patient and I learned more things. I got the exposure of various things. I work in the different different domains because in the uh, preparation you work with the various aspects and uh, thinking on others multi dimensional ways. So this helps me to develop my analytics uh, thinking. Yeah, like you, like a lot of people are there who have long career gaps, like more than uh, three years, four years or five yeah. years. So yes. So you also have around, like I, I saw your LinkedIn profile, so it is around five years of, uh, of five years of gap, right? Yeah, so, from 2023. Yeah. So how did you do the transition to data analytics domain? Like how did you get motivated to move to data analytics domain only? Okay, so uh, from November 2022, I decided to uh, start with the, some skills. I started with the SQL uh, because my brother told me that SQL uh, is good because uh, it's uh, very much used in database language. So I started with SQL and then after my friend uh, told me about the Power BI is a very booming industry right now. So I uh, exploring various options like uh, other options in IT field like various technology front end and uh, front end digital marketing and data analytics analytics field. I found more comfortable with the analytics field because in uh, this field we have to work with the different types of domains, different type of data sets. So this will helps me and I got um, very much familiar and comfortable with working with all these skills. So I started learning. Uh, initially, I took the course from Udemy uh, for SQL and Power BI. But it yeah. didn't work more for me because uh, if you learn by course, then it is more, much more important and you have to be practice more by learning the stuff. So you started in November 2022. So basically yes. you started with SQL and then you shifted yes. to Power BI and you did some courses from Udemy. And as you said that it was not uh, up to the mark. So yeah. as a fresher, till the time you got the first job, which all those uh, skills you targeted apart from SQL and Power BI or only SQL and Power BI. Excel, SQL and Power BI and I also learned the Python as well. So overall Excel, SQL, Python and Power BI, right? Yes. How yes. much Python did you learn? Uh, I know the some basic uh, basic concepts of Pythons like function looping and all of these things from the YouTube. 
channels. Okay, so you learned basics of Python from YouTube. Yeah. Did you yes. did you include any uh, libraries of Python which is used in data analytics? Yeah, I learned some libraries like Matplotlib and uh, or, or, and some other library also. So and from where did you learn this? Uh, Code with Harry YouTube channel. And uh, what about uh, Excel, SQL, and uh, uh, Power BI? Okay, and for Excel, I watched a YouTube channel, Chandu YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, so I know about uh, I know some basic uh, basic things of Excel like what is pivot table, what is cell, and how to create the graph. Mm -hmm. So from uh, YouTube channel, I can uh, I I am more so, familiar. And for SQL and Power BI. Uh, for SQL, I I use uh, Ankit Bansal's channel and uh, Gate Smashers, and I practice or some platform. As well, like Hacker Rank, W3 schools, and data lemurs. So, by practicing it, it I become more con confident in these skills. And for Power BI? And for Power BI, I watched uh, Learn with Gigs channel and uh, Analytics with Nax. Uh, I also uh, know about the Code Basics. Code Basics is a very good platform. It uh, it enhances my knowledge, uh, soft skill as well as hard skill. By watching their YouTube channels and their projects, I know more about it. And I become more confident in from basics to advanced level. Like as we have seen in the market, like currently we have lots of uh, challenges going on. Right in the market in the Power BI domain, especially. So, did you did you participate in any of those any of those challenges or? Yeah. Yes, uh, I participated in many ongoing challenges like Code Basics Resume Project challenges, Data DNA challenges, FP20 challenges, and Maven Maven Analytics challenge. Okay, so how they were beneficial in your journey? It was very beneficial for me because uh, by participating on these challenges, you have to work on the real-time data sets. You worked on uh, different types of skills. On in a single project, you also you use uh, various skills like SQL, Excel, Power BI, and soft skill presentation skills also. Mm -hmm. And uh, by uh, delivering it into the LinkedIn, and mm -hmm. so many people watched uh, your uh, projects. So it is very helpful for me. And uh, did you win any any of these challenges, or it was just the participation? Like you were participating and you were learning, or did you win anything during these challenges? No, I didn't win any challenges, but I participated in all these challenges. Okay. I got the appreciation certificate from Code Basics. Okay, so friends, you can see from Sonali's journey. Like even if you're not winning the competition or the challenges, it is important. For you to participate in those challenges because it will help you to learn in in a lot of ways. As Sonali has told, that's how she also gained knowledge and that's how she got confident in this in these skills by participating in this skills. So please do participate in these skills. It will be very beneficial if you are looking out for a job as a fresher. From when did you started looking out for a job? Like how much was the duration of your learning part? Um, for learning, I spent four months. For totally learning from November to February, I started applying from um, March, okay. February or March. Okay, so four to five months you spent on learning or learning, learning. These skills like Excel, SQL, Power BI, and Python. And mm -hmm. from Feb 2023, we have started mm -hmm. looking out for job as a fresher, yes. right? Yes. And it's and after how many months you got this job? Uh, I got the job in September 2023. So almost six months, right? Yes. So six months you took. To finally get your first job, right? Yes, yes. So, can you tell the audience like how how did you used to uh, like apply for the jobs? What all platforms did you use, and okay. what actually helped you to get your first job? Okay, I I I um, uploaded my profile on LinkedIn. Uh, Nokri dot com found it and hired it, but uh, not any other platform works for me. LinkedIn is very helpful for me because I got the various calls and opportunities from LinkedIn only. Can you tell the audience something about uh, LinkedIn profile optimization? How can you optimize huh. your profile in LinkedIn? Yes, I I use the AI tool Career Flow. Uh, with the help of Career Flow, I optimize my LinkedIn profile and I filled my all the necessary details that I had. So I filled all my uh, Informations on LinkedIn, and I updated my profiles on a daily basis. If I do some projects, I learn anything, I share my knowledge and share my work with in LinkedIn. So, any 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 specific sections in the LinkedIn profile which is very important uh, for us fresher? 
about section is uh, very much important if you make your about section because it is uh, it tells you about uh, yourself like how which pro which skills you are work on and how well you know about it and uh, and there are some uh, linkedin assessment test also if you can take that assessment test that will also be helpful for you okay great so how many jobs you used to apply on a daily basis if i talk about it i i on the daily basis i applied 15 to 20 jobs on a daily basis okay yes and, and i also uh, connect with the people recruiters on a daily basis send the connection request okay so on a daily basis for continuously around 6 months you did this applying 20 plus jobs on a daily basis yes yes it's great it's a it's a great thing because to do this continuously for these many months it's very tedious and uh, i would say a difficult task but yeah you did yes. it successfully so people can learn a lot from you that uh, they don't get demotivated by this if they are not getting the calls interview calls so it's not that you will not get the job or you will not get the interview call eventually you will get it you have to have that patience level high and keep on doing what you have to do from your side because that is what you have in your hand right yes okay so uh, nowadays like personally also i, I talk about online presence on linkedin so mm -hmm. as you said that you used to share your learnings and projects and also how did this helped you to uh, in getting that first interview call how this online presence because as you said i think you also made the online presence on linkedin right yes yes nowadays online presence is very much important for getting a job because there are most of the people who are uh, want to switch into the analytics field and if you want to get into the in analytics field uh, very soon so you have to do something different from the, the others people have to do so it's very important uh, and i got the my first job because of my linkedin presence because they see my work and on the continuous basis i updated my profile and share my knowledge so uh, when i applied you for said that, you, you say you you said that continuously used to share your learnings so continuously yes. means like what was the duration like how you used to share your learnings and what type of content you shared okay uh, like uh, in a week i share uh, two to three post uh, like i mostly share the content related to sql uh, power bi power bi projects and uh, excel also but mostly i uh, share the knowledge of uh, sql and uh, power bi projects okay so whatever you are learning you can just craft it and post it on linkedin and this yes. will ultimately help you to make online presence right this is what yes. you did Yes. Uh, so, what was the importance of your resume? Because you said that you used to upload your resume on a daily basis. Uh, I think on mm -hmm. Nokri and other platforms also. So, uh, how did you crafted your resume as a fresher? And uh, like, yeah, how did it? How did you craft it? And how it helped you to gain that uh, first spot? Initially, I did a mistake because I I didn't craft my resume according to the job description. That's why it take, took me a so long time for getting my job. So then uh, after that, I crafted my resume on the basis of ATS friendly resume. I used Resume Order uh, website for crafting my resume. And what was the ATS score? Uh, my ATS score is seventy five. Okay, seventy five per percent was a decent score, right? According yes. to you. Yes. Yes. and uh, w w how many pages you you used for your resume one only one page resume and uh, in the project section how many projects uh, you showed from all the skills? i i i mentioned four projects two projects related with the power bi one with the s uh, one with the sql and the other project is uh, cover all these skills sql excel and power bi okay four overall four projects like when you crafted your resume so How how did you manage this uh, 4.6 years of gap that you had for UPSC preparation? Did you show that thing? No, in the, on the resume section I didn't show the uh, gap. And they asked me about my career gap, but be honest with your gap. If you have a honest reason, if you have a skills uh, that will satisfy your gap, and you have a good knowledge of the current skills like SQL, Excel, Power BI, so uh, it career gap doesn't matter. Because initially I also thought that I have a lot of uh, career gap. How can I get the job? Because there are so many people right now who are graduated and uh, want. 
sa job and how i can get a job but it it, it doesn't matter because i honestly feel that there are no there are no people worries about your gap if you have a skill set and you have a knowledge then it doesn't matter so ultimately if you have a good knowledge in the related skills of data analytics even if you have a long career gap it is completely yes. fine right yes so yes that's a very important five point for all the audience who is watching this video because many of you message me that they have like you have a long career gap and you're not getting the calls you will get the call eventually as sonali has yes. got but you have to do few things for that you have to stand out from others by making online presence on linkedin doing all the necessary things which is required and then that, that's how you will get the call nowadays uh, like uh, competition has increased a lot in the market what advice would you like to give to the freshers basically because you also got this job as a fresher so what advice would you like to give to them okay so i just wanted to say that just do your work honestly and share your learning build your network building your network is very important because if you connect with more people on linkedin more recruiters then you got to know about lot of opportunities and you applied on it so this is very helpful and uh, there are some people and some recruiters who are watching your work who are watching your presents on linkedin and this will helps you to got the first job So when, as a fresh so when you got the first job like how much network you had on linkedin how many connections you had uh, right now i have uh, 6000 plus uh, connections on and linkedin at that particular point of time when you got the job how much was uh, uh, 5000 plus so basically to have online presence of on linkedin you need to build your network first yes and as sonali has said so you need to have like at least 1000 plus connections so that whatever you are sharing it should be visible to the people if you don't have the network yes. only it won't be visible to anyone right sonali yes it is very important because uh, as a, um, in my first job uh, the i sent uh, my resume to the person that recruited uh, for that company and they show my name sonali so they remember that sonali is one that uh, continuously uploaded some projects share some learning so in uh, somewhat they remember your name that will helpful for you to get the job and they know about how much you dedicated to that field and how dedicately you want the job so it is very helpful and very necessary nowadays wonderful you have joined your company as a fresher so as yes. of now uh, like on what, which particular skill you have been asked to work as a fresher right now uh, it is uh, totally work on uh, excel and uh, power bi so nowadays i was work on excel wonderful so whatever you learned and finally now you are getting an opportunity to implement your learning so that's a great point for all the people who are listening this uh, who will be listening this uh, session it will be very beneficial for them whatever you have shared uh, in this video so uh, thank you so much sonali for coming on this session it was a great uh, it was a great session people will definitely learn a lot and get motivation from your journey because i have seen a lot of people who have this much of uh, career gap more like basically more than 4 years of gap and basically yes. if you are there who have done upsc preparation also so you will you will be the motivation for them to work more harder and succeed in this data analytics domain thank you so much sonali for joining this session thank you job. thank you for having me here and thank you for all the persons who watched this video and it will be helpful for them as well